Chase is amazing and resilient. He's never felt sorry for himself. And we never wanted him to. Some people say, you can't play this. Instead, of, I just prove it to them and show them how I do it. I like running because I can beat everyone in my family except one, my dad. When you first see Chase, the, the first immediate response is people figure he was born that way. What happened was he got diagnosed with the flu, a really severe form of flu, which put him into septic shock. And the septic shock basically shut down all his organs. When Chase came home from the hospital, um, I, I was pregnant. And when he was done with rehab and he was actually home on a full-time basis, Cole was here. I had to juggle three boys, one that needed special help and a newborn. So the voice remote was a godsend. Accessibility. It allowed him to be a lot more independent. Of course, it presented some problems with the two older boys. <laughs> they fight over everything, but that's them being boys. And coming home to hearing the bickering and everything, it just made it even better. For a long time, our house was very quiet. We're fortunate that we now understand that life doesn't end in terms when you're losing and missing a limb. And Chase continues to teach us every day how strong and how powerful he is. I like being independent. It makes me feel good instead of just calling my mom or dad. For a while there, we were worried about him gaining that same level of confidence that our other children were gaining. But as Chase learned and he's demonstrated in using technology, it allowed him to, to really gain that confidence. The future is going to be very bright for Chase. We are not afraid of what he might not be able to do. We just see everything that he can do and what he will be able to do. Today, it's a football coach. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, it might be an astronaut. That's right. But uh, because of technology, he'll be able to do anything.